Breaking tonight, a federal judge orders former Omaha City Councilman Vinny Palermo to remain in jail until he's sentenced in November. Six News' Brian Mastery has more from Lincoln. What was Mr. Palermo's reaction? Uh, his reaction was, was disappointed, of course, but not unexpected. And remember, Palermo pleaded guilty to one count of wire fraud on Friday, and the government dismissed the other eight counts. Brian Mastry is live in Lincoln with the latest. Hey, Brian. Lauren, Vinnie Palermo is in a van with the U.S. Marshal as we speak, headed back to the Saunders County Jail in Wahoo. We're in Lincoln, and he has been in Wahoo for the last four months, ever since the indictment. And on Friday, he pleaded guilty, and so his attorney thought maybe he could get out until he's sentenced in November, but the judge would have none of that. So that is essentially he'll be in jail for seven months before he is sentenced to a crime that the plea is for around 21 months. Now, moments ago, the federal judge here, Cheryl Zwart, said that I do not think Vinnie Palermo is a flight risk. However, she said, I still don't trust any of the suspects to either obstruct justice or tamper with witnesses. And Vinnie Palermo's attorney told me he just doesn't get it. Majority of white collar criminals are not detained. And I know that because I represent them. And that's why the advice that I gave to my client and, and Mr. Leffler and Mr. Shapiro and, uh, and the public defender gave the same advice to the four defendants in this case, these cases, because that's the way it is. And that's the norm in federal court, both in Omaha and in Lincoln. And for some reason, that's just not the uh, the case in this case. As a matter of fact, uh, with the Commission of Israel. Now, there was an audible gas from Vinnie Palermo's family when the judge said that he was going to remain detained. Palermo's attorney essentially said, look, we have conditions. You can, he can be monitored by GPS. He can write down all of his phone calls, who's calling him, who he's calling, and that that could be a record to show that he is not a risk of any sort. But in the end, the judge said that the government wasn't prepared and didn't have the capabilities of monitoring that. One final note. So if you end up doing the math, so that is four months he's in jail, three more months till he's sentenced in November, seven months. So essentially, John and Lauren, that is subtracted from his 21 months. So his sentence might end up being 14 months, maybe even less when he's sentenced in November. We're live in Lincoln. Brian Mastery, 6 News.